Uh, so Roger Green here at an undisclosed location and we've got the thunderstorm generator here and we're going to do a little uh, demonstration cool. for you. So we got here our reading before we're using the machine as you can see there's uh, pretty much all zeros there. See on the right hand side. So we're good to go. So uh, now we're going to demonstrate the control generator, no thunderstorm generator on it, so let's see what happens. the CO2 over range <laughs> off the planet well <laughs> on the planet <laughs> uh, we, and we're just going to do the printout now so uh, control generator and of course uh, with the uh, thunderstorm so we've got the printouts uh, happening so uh, we're, we're at a location where uh, the thunderstorm generators have been uh, tested uh, some experimentation going on with some of the dynamics uh, the one that we just uh, used has proven up to be the, the the most effective so as you can see uh, pretty straightforward we've mentioned this many many times now uh, you know base the basic three components here you can see with the thunderstorm so the re results are remarkable, transmuting those pollutants. You can see in the, the readouts, you know, virtually no CO2. Uh, there's still a little bit of uh, bits and pieces there, uh, but 
compared to what was coming out in the, with the control generator. You know, just absolutely remarkable results. Uh, truly a revolutionary uh, technology that has uh, huge potential uh, across uh, many, many, many different uh, 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 industries. So, um, very, very good demo. Just been uh, handed the results that uh, you know we'll write up for you. Right. So this is my understanding of the thunder thunderstorm generator system. So we start off with the ionizer here which we have in this system is about two liters of water within it. The ionizer is charging the water before it comes through into the bubbler. And we have a, a mesh of stainless steel metal here that is basically separa separating out that charge uh, to uh, enable more, no, more plasmoids essentially, which is then passed through the piping here into the thunder thunderstorm generator itself. And so it enters in through an inside cavity. There are two spheres within this one here. First passes through the center, going counterclockwise, uh, sorry, clockwise, then passes upwards, still in the center, still going counterclockwise, up through into the engine. At this point here, as a separator of a very a particular angle, 51.8 degrees potentially, where it's then passed through here and uh, comes through again before it then comes out of the engine in the wider sphere. Um, I believe, go yeah, so th now it's going counterclockwise, counter to the input uh, air. So you now have two opposing vortices that uh, interact. So they're separated, but the plasmoids are able to move through that material. And it's at the zero point of this sphere here, and also as it passes through, you're getting both these opposing vortices on both ends where you can start to have the uh, hydrogen fusing with carbon where much of it is being outputted to oxygen here, leading to the results of very, very little, no CO2 and a very, very small amount of CO, which should be a carbon monoxide, which uh, I believe has been gotten down to zero in other prototypes. 